Hello and welcome back to Bud Fountain. You know a name grows on you? This is kind of doing the opposite. I really love the name. Um, at first I thought it was funny, but I don't know. Alright, so last episode, if you saw that, which, I don't know, I was kind of running out of stuff to say because all they're doing is collecting wood, but and that's still what we're doing. Um, so it's winter time now. So we don't have any traders, so that'll at least let us catch up a bit. They're taking it from here and putting it here. Which is not close in area. This is kind of the... Now this is way down there. So... Yeah, I got my carpenter up and running. He's uh, making uh, wheelbarrows and bucklers. Likes bucklers, which that's my like one of my least favorite things for carpenters to like if they're gonna like something. Um, but yeah, you know, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Steel, huh? Doors, huh? Hmm. Okay. We made any masterwork ones? Okay. So I had to cough and spit. Kind of gross. All right, so all right, hang on. Let me see. Got no A pack of milk. Don't cook it. I'm trying to turn these all back off because we're we doing now making cheese out of it. It's fine. I caught it in time, so that's good. It takes a bit to make cheese, apparently. Yeah, I hope that cheese doesn't go bad in there, because they, they tend to not focus on collecting that. Here we go. Yeah, I'd rather you get the cheese before the wood. Okay. That's already been turned off. I think I got water buffalo next, but I think that might be turned off too, I'm not sure. I'm still making, yeah we are. Okay, here's the water buffalo. Let's go back here. I mean here. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so this worries me. Although, I should be able to clean this up. I mean, I have a whole season to do it. Um, yeah. What else can I do? Let's see. Uh, yeah, Bud Fountain. Here's the one where I quit. Hello and welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, I got sound sense working again. Or rather, it just automatically does that. Let's just keep going. Nothing has changed. Yeah, so... Yeah, dog, you don't, you don't belong, belong in there. What the hell? A little bit. So. Right in the universe. Yeah, I didn't... See, this is what I did. See, I dug in here, which I didn't are. do this time. Well, uh... 
I went through the trading. <laughs> Not the same thing. I get a little. Yeah, I was checking to see if anybody box? likes certain leather or whatever. It's... What's going on? Fox man. Oh yeah, I didn't have the like I, I didn't... or something. Okay. Yeah, we are in a savage area, so. Mine's still running too. Not that foxmen are necessarily savage. But well, that's uh, not my dog. Doesn't like them though. Oh yeah, get out of here. Cause it freaks. They yeah the. I mean, it's not like he doesn't have a lot to do because he's got a lot to do. Toady that is. Um. Oh, actually, when we start digging, don't keep strong dwarfing shit over there. That's not necessary. All right, here, I'll, I'll get to the point where... Uh, Alright. You can see how oh, aggravated yeah. I get. Alright, cool. In the meantime, all we're doing is... Away with it anyway, so it's fine. Oh, made a master work buckler. Ready to trade. Oh. See? What? Yeah, it didn't make any sense. They've been there for a long time. fuck are you talking about? So yeah, I was mad. I swore. Because out of anger. Let's check over here. This is the actual game. The fuck Still is running. happening? So mad. So angry. Fuck you! I was talking to the game. It's mad. Game's still running, but we're just collecting wood, this so it's pissing me off. Yeah, I was pissed off. As I mentioned. I think I'm still gonna. I don't know what fucking glitchy bullshit, bullshit is going on. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was like, oh, just while you... It's, that was dumb. It was just like, what, what the fuck am I doing? I mean, at this point, I, I pretty much gave up. I was like, you know, I'm going to just I'm doing gonna hard kill it. This is pissing me off. I fucking hate this fucking glitchy shit. Can't fuck even, you. I can't even talk straight. Fuck! Yeah, actually, in the end there, I got mad. I didn't even intend on uh, ever... I just figured I would just never show it, but I did. Yeah, I was mad. And, yes, I, uh, I can be a crybaby sometimes, but... You know, I get I get upset at Store Fortress after all, you know. <clears throat> I only get upset about important stuff like that, you know. You can't let everything get to you. Just the important stuff. Okay, snowstorm has come. Oh yeah, I haven't even... Oh. Not used to my key binding, or er, uh, hotkeys yet for uh, Zoom. A lot of trees. I mean, there's so many logs. So, I'm struggling to come up with stuff to, I mean, I could talk a little bit about strategy and stuff, which I'll do. But, uh, I might, you know, if I were watching this, I might jump ahead. Just saying. Um... And I'm almost tempted to not talk about strategy because then it kind of would justify, you know, just I guess jamming out to the music. This is 
I don't know what language this is. I like it. I just don't know what what uh, what's being sung. Hmm. Yeah. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. Why? Because why not? That I picked that for that. Uh, is it prickleberries? Strawberries. Hmm. Let's do that right away then. Snowy strawberries. Okay. We don't have that much strawberry wine. We're doing good with uh, stuff in general. Let's see where our cooking is at. Seven. That's nice. It's respectable. I'm going to still stick with just making biscuits. And sell them all. Um, see, yeah, we'll have, we'll have trade goods for the elves. We'll have stuff. Um, I'll just sell them all, and then, and then I'll go to the other, other, um, meals, you know, the stews and the roasts. So we'll get a little bit of a balance going. Sorry, I'm yawning. <sighs> it is a wood gathering episode, after all. I don't understand this language either. I don't know what they're saying. I like this though. This is uh, tranquil. It's a good word for it. This is tranquil. Yeah, it has me a little worried where they were running over that lake. Like you saw that dwarf ran right over the lake. It's okay right now. But if they don't clear it out and time. That's not going to be good. I mean, there's ways you could do it. I could forbid all the wood, like over here, and then just, you know, just have them collect that. That'll work for a minute. That's fine. I'm not going to do that. It should work out. Got to have some risk in this game. Although, quite honestly, if that were to happen and a dwarf fell in there and died, I might just freak out and rage quit and some an idiot. Uh, you could technically save him, though, uh, especially since that's not connected to the um, to the brook. I could actually <clears throat> dig out like a large area here and then dig there and save the dwarf. That's what I would try and do. I've had that thought before, I've never had to execute it. I mean, I've had dwarves die, but, you know, it's because I either didn't notice or I didn't think of that at the time. Yeah, I mean, I might not wait, rage quit, actually. If it's just a dead dwarf, a lot of times I'll just let, him hap let it happen. Unless it's one of my founders, because my founders all have very specific purposes. Yeah. So in a way this is good. And the reason why it's good is because um it holds me back from blowing up my um uh my fortress wealth, which which could save me cuz sometimes I just I get a, I go a little haywire with that. So not a lot going on. Oh, what happened there? Looks like he fell. That happens. I'm going to fall off a cliff or something stupid. 
so, I, you know, one, I think of the saving grace is the fact that this is a wood gathering episode is another oh Bruckler and a kitten. Very nice. Uh, is that this mellow, this music is mellow. And that's good. Because, um, oh, that's the, actually, this lake right there. This one right here. That's where the willow is. There's willow under there. I'm to dig that out. Maybe I will. Probably not. This is probably going to get too late in the season. Um, is that, yeah, we got this nice mellow music and it's chill. I mean, I've just kind of accepted it, so I'm kicking back. I'm reclined in my non reclining chair. You know, just kind of leaning back. Enjoying the music. Masterpiece Willow Will Will Barrel and a Buckler. He's getting better. Let's check this out. Yeah, this music is much better than that circus music that that one it, there's that one track that just does not fit with this game <laughs> at all. It's kind of comical, but still. Accomplished. Very nice. I got an accomplished glassmaker, an accomplished carpenter, and an uh, adept mechanic. Got a expert cook. Yeah. Talented weaponsmith and talented furnace operator. We got proficient otherwise as far as masons and a smattering of everything else. Still just collecting lots of wood. Yeah, we got the couple bucklers to sell. Yeah, this is this is a, a big drawback of how far the willow is. You know, it's quite a distance they're carrying it. I got what sixteen dwarves, really fifteen because what's a child? I think that's what it is. I think that's my makeup, isn't it? Yeah. How old are you? Eight. Oh uh, yeah. Four more years. I gotta wait four years before that kid is twelve, and then, uh, then you know there'll be a dwarf. They graduate to dwarfiness at uh, twelve. Just seeing if, just seeing if this was over water right here. These two logs, or two sets of logs. No, two logs. That's fine. Oh, this is no, this is tranquil too. That's fine. I didn't jinx myself. I thought you know, it would be. Um, Ironic if the circus music came on right away, but it didn't. Let me check something. I'm curious. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure there's no rotten cheese there. I don't see anything in here. Oh, that's a hamster. It's a living hamster. Inventory. Very cool. Drink some coffee. Hmm, that was good coffee. Ooh. It's getting warmer.
It's getting warmer. Krapski. It's getting warmer. Yeah, the brook is not the issue. Because I got all these logs back here. And we're seeing a bit of a thaw. Right over the lake. Chances are no one will fall in, but it's possible. Hmm. There seems to be a halfway decent chance of it happening. It still probably won't. But I sure I'm not confident. Let's just check something else out. A lot of that is tasked. Alright. If a dog goes in, that's fine, because they can swim. I've seen that happen, dogs. Okay, you heard her. Springtime. Huh. Yeah, I guess <laughs> it went by quick because uh, there was really no decisions to make. We were just waiting for the logs to get. Alright, yeah, this was really just a log gathering um, episode. Wow, 22 minutes. Not long. Alright, thanks everybody. Uh, until next time, enjoy your life. Thanks, bye.